Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest wrestling podcast ever. I am your host, Adani. Joined with me tonight is Manask. And I know we missed a couple uh, weeks, but we are back and ready to talk some wrestling. So um, I think that we should just go ahead and get started. I think the biggest news coming out of the last couple of days was uh, uh, yesterday on Wednesday. We had... Oh, be quiet. <laughs> uh, we had um, the uh, the news that Andrade and Sammy Guevara got in a <laughs> got in a fight in the backstage uh, area. So yeah, you talk about backstage squabble. I was like, oh, I did not realize what shirt I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So people were jumping the gun about that news between the fight it wasn't an actual fight. The official news that came out today, and the people were first people were complaining that Andrade was sent home, mm-hmm. and his match for this week's Rampage was changed instead of the career versus mass match. He got sent home and knocked out of the match, so now it's Dark Order versus Death Triangle for the AEW Trios Championship as a replacement, hmm. which sounds yeah. like a much better match. Yeah, you know? I mean, for sure, but. The official report that came out today was they were both warned on Tuesday to not fight each other, and they both said they would be fine. And Andrade still went up to Sammy Guevara and punched him twice, pretty much. And then that the report about Sammy uh, pushing him, what happened is they said Sammy was turning around and walking away and uh, Andrade grabbed him, and so as he spun Sammy around, Sammy pushed him off. Push him off, yeah. And then Andrade was... punched him twice. That's why Andrade, Andrade was the one punished. And then according to Dave Meltzer, this doesn't mean it's fact, but according to Dave Meltzer, Andrade, Andrade is perfectly trying to get himself fired. I was going to say, wasn't Andrade, uh, wouldn't Andrade and, and Malachi Black both, um, you know, requesting their release and denied their request? Like... Like wasn't that wasn't that something that was going on and and yeah because I think getting re- released right now and Andrade was already warned that even if he started the fight they're not gonna release him so he so for all fans here he could sit at home and collect the paycheck until his contract runs out for the next couple of years well or, yeah I mean and and to be or honest he play nice and make him a bit self a bigger star and. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, make the most of it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, you know, it's 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 always questionable. You know how, you know how everybody, you know, looks at WWE and it's like, oh, you know, release. Um, um, what's the Ali? But, everybody, everybody. Yeah. everybody well, see, everybody. that's the thing. When it comes to either AEW or WWE, the people sign the contract. They do the contract they were signing. Mm-hmm. So just because they, oh, I'm not happy anymore, like, well, that's not how that works. You're grown. You're an adult. Mm-hmm. You sign a contract. No one forces you to sign the contract. Yep. I mean, that comes with the territory. And, and if you and, sign the contract, you stick it out to the end. And you're and you're. It's not like you're not being paid lucratively. These 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 right. wrestling you're companies paid more than a lot of other people. Right. I mean, your you you are working like what you you know you work 20 30 minutes like uh, you know a week like i wish i could make that kind right. of money working 30 minutes a week i mean i i understand these these wrestlers are unhappy but you it's like they, if you're unhappy what if you try doing like do something to try fixing it mm-hmm. if you're unhappy with your storyline especially over there i mean it's been known they if they have a better idea for a character story they can pitch it and they will normally run with it and give them a try Andrade, you can see they let him do whatever the freak he wanted. It's mm-hmm. his own fault that that crap hasn't been connecting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I did see a few uh, few people online saying that. Um, <laughs> obviously, this is this is this is strictly an opinion. This has nothing to do with you know reports or fact. But there were a lot of people that said that um, that they feel like the AEW backstage environment hasn't been the same since Cody left. And so, what was your opinion on that? That that's not true. How would they know that if like no one knows going backstage? That people backstage, they, they everyone listens to like certain podcasts and like one person's opinion and take that stuff as fact. And then mm-hmm. it keeps coming out that that stuff, a lot of that stuff's not even true. 
I mean, we don't know what the backstage was before and when if and if it got worse after Cody left or if it was already bad when he was still there or it's just even bad now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, fair, for sure. Like people are so inside baseball when it comes to wrestling, but the backstage, like people care more about the backstage than what's going on, on the T V screen in front of them. They like the drama and they, I don't really care for the drama stuff. Well, I mean, you watch wrestling, so clearly you have to like right. some of I the watch drama. What's on TV? That's why I really hear about the backstage oh, yeah, that, stuff. That's like... fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, what? Uh, in, in, so we have uh, something exciting tomorrow for AEW, right? What's what's that? Yeah, tomorrow is two hours. So the first hour is Rampage, and immediately following afterwards. So, so originally, Battle for the Belts 4 was supposed to be on Saturday. Mm-hmm. But since WWE's Extreme Rules on Saturday, they moved it to Friday night and making a two-hour Rampage Friday night. And so that second hour of Rampage is Battle for the Belts 4, which will be Pat versus Trent Beretta for the All-Atlantic Championship. Okay. FTR versus the Gates of Agony, Khan and Toa Leona. For the Art Ring of Honor tag team title, and then the women's TBS championship, Jade Cargill versus Willow Nightingale. The big question is: Is Willow the one to end the streak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think so. I think that the, the, the well, that's one thing about AEW. They will actually do title changes on a live TV show, regular TV show, versus waiting for the pay per view. So. It is very heavily possible that Willow Nightingale might be thrown her. <laughs> I know it was rumored that, uh, what's her name? I can't think right now. You just have to April describe her. <laughs> like, to describe what like what her uh, relevance the is. The alien like, girl. I forgot her name. The one got injured. Uh, uh, even though it was rumored that she was probably uh, slated to defeat Jade Cargill in the in the streak and all out, but then she injured her knee. Yeah, I, I will. You know, it, it does seem like uh, it, it hasn't. Hasn't it seemed like there's been quite a few more injuries lately? Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, just hearing about only the bad stuff. So I just I feel like there's been, you know, quite a few injuries. No more injuries than the other companies have. Okay. As well as like, no, I think the only yeah. people out right now are. Obviously, the... know, why can't I think of her name right now? <laughs> Chris Stratland, no, Stratlander. Okay, Something okay. like Stratlander. And Chris... what? A... Yeah, yeah. What about? Um... Yeah, she injured her knee, and then uh, the only... and then um, what Adam a... Cole. What about undisclosed um... injury? They haven't said what. What about Athena? Isn't she injured? Athena. The I don't know. Yeah, I say I thought I thought she was injured, but. Uh... That uh, she was the she's the uh, you know the the <laughs> from from uh, from w, the WWE you know Athena, but uh, anyway yeah. Uh, no, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole have been injured for months. And what's the other guy? Oh, well, the other guy's are. not even in uh, AEW anymore. Yeah, Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish. He is now Impact. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Uh, like we we everyone everyone had expected the, uh, you know that uh, that that big reunion and it kind of fizzled, and then Adam Cole went and joined the elite and or was was with the elite and 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 now the elite's not there. So and then Adam Cole's injured. So you know. Yeah, I mean, this is like, what are you gonna really do with Bobby Fish by himself? He's never been a. Even when NXT, he was never really a great single star. <laughs> Fair. So it's like, what do you do with them besides make him a manager or something? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think going to Impact was a good call for him. If they are dealing with injuries, then it's a good thing their roster was, you know, pretty, uh, pretty loaded. So that even even if they had injuries, like WWE had a lot of injuries and they didn't really have a whole lot of uh, roster uh, and and it was really difficult. We ended up seeing a lot of the same matches over and over again because they were dealing with 
um, you know, Randy Orton being injured and, um, and then Big E getting injured. And, you know, there was, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, overlap and we're still dealing with some overlap, but we're, you know, it's still. Speaking of matches over and over again, let's get into the train rules card. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, um. Uh, yes, so so thir- uh, Saturday we have the Extreme Rules. Um, we are getting quite a few rematches. Um, we are getting, but, but... Okay, one, say, one uh, thing I will say is some of the, several of the rematches, at least they made the stipulation look pretty cool. Or, okay, I, I'll check it out again just for that stipulation. Well, every, every match has a stipulation, unlike last year where almost no matches had stipulations. So, so we're actually getting every match that we have, uh, every match that WWE has on, um, on, on Saturday has a stipulation. So, um, we'll start with the two title matches. We only have two title matches, uh, and they're both for the women's championship. So we have Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey and an extreme that rules one I don't match. Care for at all. <laughs> I was say as you're reading the match off in your own, I'm like, okay, okay, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and you got that one. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably going pre-show. to be a good match, but yes, I mean, yeah, it's not. It. It's not one that it. I mean, this is you know, uh, I feel like we're gonna see some. Uh, I feel like this this pay per view we're going to see some debuts that's gonna start new yeah. feuds, and I think that's that's kind of a catalyst here. Is that you have? The, and you see, Liv Morgan. Liv, Liv Morgan got better. Like she's good, mm-hmm. and Ronda Rousey is at her best when she's a heel. I just don't like those two together. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they I mean, it, yeah, and, and I, like, I agree. Been and, there, done that already with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's for sure. And even what this isn't supposed to happen. What? Well, that's annoying. Anyway, uh, um, so. Yes, well, I'm not really interested in that. I think Liv Morgan's going to win, and and that feud will be over. Um, the other women's championship match is going to be um, Bianca Belair versus um, Bailey uh, in a ladder match. It's the first, apparently, the Absolutely. first time a woman. It's the first time the women's championship has been defended in a ladder match. Uh, is what they've been telling us. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that match. Oh, main roster women. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, I, they've done the, uh, what's we call it? The uh, NXT women's ladder matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm excited. Bianca Belair always puts on bangers. Bailey is a great in ring talent. And you're, you're, you know, putting, you're putting ladders involved. It's, it's all. It's gonna be a good time. Good, a really good match. I think. Speaking of Bailey, I am not feeling that damage control. No, My God, they no. need to do something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree there. I say. I mean, I mean, Bailey literally carried the company for two years and or a year and a half, and her and Sasha. I shouldn't say just her, but her and Sasha carried the company for a year and a half, and um, so I mean, I I will always respect the Bailey. Well, it's uh, we, that that group is weird because all three of them are great main event headliner and talent, but for some reason they do not mesh well together as a unit at all. All right, hold on a second here. <laughs> all right, okay. So, um, yeah. Um, other than that, so we are going from there. We get the Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle pit fight. Uh, with Daniel Cormier as the special guest referee. And I would totally crap on that one if it wasn't for Daniel Cormier being involved. Okay, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's going to be an awesome match. Obviously, Matt Riddle has UFC experience, so it's, it's, uh, or, or, yeah, MMA experience, I should say, and, and, um, and, uh, and it's going to be an MMA style fight, and it's a grudge match. I mean, we're talking, um, uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great match. I think it's, it's the, I think it's the headlining, uh, I hate to say it that because, I mean, obviously we have the women's championship matches, but I think that's the headlining 
um, match of the of the month of the of the night. And um, most likely, yeah. I mean, I don't know that it'll be the main event, but it it's I, I think that's the match that that people are going to be tuning in for. If if that match wasn't uh, if that was different, then I, I don't know that um, you may get as many eyes. Um, other than the next match is going to is the Edge and Finn Balor I Quit match. Um, so what do you think about that one? That one I'm interested. In. Not really. In, I, nah. Okay. I mean, I mean, do you think that there's? Do you think that that? You know, we we get. I anything. think the, the way it's been playing out on Raw would have made more sense for the Finn Balor AJ Styles I quit match, but uh, I think they'd be a little more that would have been Edge fire. Finn Balor for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I think you know I I think that that just to going back to I don't I don't think they're using utilizing AJ Styles anywhere near enough, um, and I I think that they need to bring him back into some kind of. Uh, title scene or, or something that you know get him into a main storyline because that man needs he he I mean I know he's getting older but let let that here's man what I would done I would done AJ versus Finn and I would done Ed versus Damian Priest in the I Quit match yeah There's but we had a program between those two yeah but we already had a lot of the Damian Priest versus Edge and that that would have felt way that would have that would have even felt more stale and I think that Edge is going to win. And I think that's why I think think Finn Balor can afford to take the loss, and I don't think Damian Priest could. He could against Edge. Anybody can afford to lose against Edge. <laughs> I think they've done too much to try and build up Damian Priest, and I, I think that I, I just I think that they, I think they'd have. But I quit between those two. That would have been at pay per view would have been what was needed to take Damian Priest at next level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, could have would have would have kind of been like a Austin Bret Bret Hart type thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. All right. Um, uh, we got two other matches. We have the uh, Donny Brook match between uh, the Brawler Boys. I think that's the Brawling Boys, something like that, and the and the Imperium. Um, We've seen that already, though. They, yeah, they put on great matches, but how many times them matches against each other? Well, I mean, you know, we we have uh, you know we have Sheamus, who's who's really in a career renaissance. So I mean, right. I'm I think that uh, I think that us getting one more match, um, I think this needs to be it though. I, I, I don't think they need to continue this. Yeah, feud. I think this needs to be. Just, just save it for yeah. a bigger pay per view like it's uh, just, this Royal needs, Rumble or WrestleMania or something like that for yeah. the, the last little match between two. But whatever. Yeah, but I I think that this just needs to end. All these feuds that are going on, Extreme Rules needs to end them. Well, she's Survivor Series would be a good time to do it. Mm-hmm. So, um, the last, uh, the last match of Extreme Rules is the Dean, no, Drew McIntyre and, versus Karrion Cross in a strap match. Yeah. I mean, you... <laughs> I don't you, care. I, I understand, like, that, the, like, none of them are, like, overly exciting, but I, I'm confident yeah. in all of these people's talent that every one of these matches is going to be awesome at the time. Like, except, except for that last one, his name. I don't, I don't know if that's going to get there. <laughs> I mean, that's that's fair. I mean, of all of them, that would be the one that I would say is the least likely. That and and then the Liv Morgan and and Ronda Rousey are the least likely to yeah. impress. But I mean, other than you know, obviously, you know, there's there's a lot that that um, there's a lot that that is not available right now. Obviously Roman's reigns re- reduction in, and, and I, I just, I can't, I can't tell, say it enough that I do not want to see Roman reigns versus Logan Paul. I'm, I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't care. I don't, oh, I have I no, I have yeah. no confidence in the fact that Logan Paul can beat Roman reigns. And that's the only incentive I have to watch a match like that. Is for somebody to actually believe that they could be they could beat Roman Reigns. Like other than that, no interest. So, <sighs> all right. So wrap it up and have everybody back next week. All right. So I know it was a short episode, but we're gonna go ahead and call it here. And say we'll talk about our uh, 
We'll talk about our results next week and, and hopefully get back on a weekly schedule. So don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Adani54. And that's Manosk. This is Adani, and we're signing out. Y'all have an amazing week. Later. <laughs>